Jinnah International Airport Urdu Jaina bin Alakwami Wayi A Sindhi Jaina bin Alakwami Hawaii I I A T A Key I C A O O P K C is Pakistan's busiest international and domestic airport and handled 6,697,073 passengers in 2017-2018. Located in Karachi, the largest city of Pakistan and capital of the province of Sindh, it is named after Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the founder of Pakistan. The airport is managed by the Civil Aviation Authority and provides a hub for the national flag carrier, Pakistan International Airlines Air Indus, Shaheen Air, Airblue and many other private airlines. The airport is equipped with aircraft engineering and overhauling facilities including the Ispahani hangar for wide-body aircraft. History J. R. D. Tata, the father of civil aviation in British India made the maiden voyage from Juhu Aerodrome in Bombay to Dry Road Airstrip now Jinnah International Airport, Karachi, via Ahmedabad, on 15 October 1932 carrying mail in a Puss Moth aircraft. During the late 1920s and early 1930s, there was a large black-coloured airship hangar at the site of Karachi Airport, constructed for the British HMAR 101, at the time, the largest aircraft ever built. Only three hangars were ever built in the world to dock and hangar Britain's fleet of passenger airships. However, the R-101 never arrived in Karachi then part of the British Raj as it crashed and exploded just eight hours into its maiden flight over Beauvais, France, killing all but six of its 54 passengers and crew. This hangar was so huge that aircraft often used it as a visual marker while attempting VFR landings at Karachi. Over the years, the hangar became known as the landmark of Karachi, until it was demolished by order of then-President Ayub Khan in the 1960s. During World War II, Karachi Airport was a major transshipment base for United States Army Air Forces units and equipment being used by 10th Air Force in eastern India, Burma and the 14th Air Force in China. Several operational bomber and fighter units flew into Karachi for short organizational periods prior to their deployment. Air Technical Service Command had extensive facilities where aircraft were received, assembled and tested prior to being flown to their combat units at forward airfields. It also functioned as a major maintenance and supply depot for both air forces. In addition, Air Transport Command flew numerous cargo and passenger flights to the Middle East and to points within British India and China. The airport facilities were further expanded in the 1980s to Terminal 2 and Terminal 3 respectively. The present-day infrastructure of Jinnah International Complex is a result of an expansion program carried out in 1994. Today, the new Jinnah Terminal handles both domestic and international flights, whereas Terminal 2 is now dedicated to Hajj operations. Terminal 1 the original airport is now the HQ of Pakistan's Civil Aviation Authority and Terminal 3 is dedicated to commercial offices. Karachi was once a much busier airport. Between the 1960s and 1980s it was an online station of several major airlines of the world including Air India, British Airways now operating via codeshare with Qatar Airways, Interflag, Tarim, Alitalia now operating via codeshare with Etihad, Jat Yugoslavia Airlines, Aeroflot, Philippine Airlines, Nigeria Airways, Ethiopian Airlines, Egypt Air, East African Airways, Kenya Airways now operating via codeshare with Etihad, Air France, Qantas, Pan Am, Royal Jordanian, Libyan Arab Airlines, Japan Airlines, Syrian Arab Airlines, Middle East Airlines, Lufthansa, Swissair and SAS. Other former airlines were Azerbaijan Airlines, Garuda Indonesia, Kazakhstan Airlines, KLM now operating via code shares with Etihad and Gulf Air, Kuwait Airways, Kyrgyzstan Airlines, Libyan Arab Airlines, Transportes Aéreos da India Portuguesa and Uzbekistan Airways. However, due to the emergence of Dubai's airport on the world map, increased usage of longer-haul aircraft, expensive fuel prices in Pakistan and the poor political climate of Karachi during the 1990s, several airlines discontinued their service to the airport. In the past couple of years Karachi has seen a reversal in fortunes. The dwindling number of international airlines has stabilized and whilst there has not been a marked increase in the number of airlines flying into Karachi, some have either increased the number of flights or resumed their old operations, either online or via codeshare service. 
As air traffic in Pakistan increased by staggering 40% in the last five years, five new airlines Askari Air, Air Seal, Go Green, Liberty Air and Afif Zara Airways are expected to venture into Pakistan's aviation industry by 2019, in the latest sign of intensifying competition in the backdrop of an open skies policy. This will not only bring a positive competitive environment and reduce passenger fares, but will also pose fresh challenge requiring a serious policy review to Pakistan International Airlines PIA, which is crippled by its own policital vested interests. On 8 June 2014, at least 10 militants armed with automatic weapons, a rocket launcher, suicide vests and grenades attacked the airport. 36 people were killed, including all 10 attackers and at least 18 people were wounded. Structure Jinnah International Airport has a capacity of handling 12 million passengers annually. In fiscal year 2008-2009, over 5,725,052 passengers used Jinnah International Airport, 50,095 aircraft movements were registered. It is the primary hub of Pakistan International Airlines PIA. All other Pakistani airlines also use Jinnah International Airport as their main hub. These include Airblue, Shaheen Air, Sarinair as well as several charter carriers. The building is linked via connecting corridors to two satellites, each having a provision of eight passenger loading bridges. The eastern satellite is devoted exclusively to handling international operations. The western satellite is used for domestic operations, as well as some international operations. This is achieved through a flexible arrangement of gates. The two satellites supplement the departure lounges of the terminal building and also provide shopping facilities, mobile recharging points, and snack counters. The Jinnah terminal was completed in 1992 at a cost of US $100 million, at the time the most expensive civil construction project in Pakistan. NESPAK National Engineering Services Pakistan and Airconsult Frankfurt, Germany were responsible for the architecture and planning of the terminal. Sogia Construction, a French company, was the contractor. Mukhtar Hussain and Abdul Malik NESPAK were the chief engineers for the new terminal. In Karachi, the CIP lounge can be used by all first and business class passengers on all outbound flights. Barclays, UBL and Airblue have also introduced their dedicated lounges in the international terminal of the airport. There are a number of bank kiosks and ATMs that passengers can use at the airport. The airport is also where the majority of PIA's maintenance network is located, although some of its maintenance work also takes place at Benazir Bhutto International Airport, Rawalpindi. There are several hangars at the airport, the largest being the Ispahani hangar named after Mirza Ahmad Ispahani, the first chairman of PIA that can accommodate two Boeing 747s and one narrow-body airliner e.g. Boeing 737 at one time. On 15 February 2006, the first major overhaul of a Boeing 777-200 or aircraft known as C check was done at Ispahani hangar. Most of the PIA aircraft are checked and regulated at the aircraft hangars in Karachi. The PIA maintenance also check other airline aircraft in Karachi such as Philippine Airlines, Turkish Airlines and Air Universal. The head office of the Civil Aviation Authority of Pakistan is located in Terminal 1. Pakistan International Airlines has its head office on the grounds of the airport PIA building, as well as its central mainframe CRC building, which also houses its frequent flyer program, Awards Plus, as well as hosting CETA Bagtrack, the shared International Air Transport Association Global Lost Luggage Tracking Computer Network. PIA Engineering HQ, Cargo Village and Flight Kitchen are also located here. Terminals 1 and Jinnah West also have round-the-clock PIA booking offices and ticketing auto kiosks. Shaheen Air also has its head office on the airport property. <laughs> Ispahani Hangar The Ispahani Hangar is PIA's wide-body aircraft maintenance hangar at Jinnah International Airport. It has been named in honor of Mr. Mirza Ahmad Ispahani. Mirza Ahmad Ispahani was the first and longest serving chairman of Pakistan International Airlines from its inception in 1954 until 1962. 
The new jet hangar for wide body and narrow body aircraft with a supporting airframe overhaul shop was completed and commissioned in 1968. Most of the PIA aircraft are checked and regulated at the aircraft hangars in Karachi. The PIA maintenance also check other airline aircraft in Karachi such as Philippine Airlines, Yemenia and Turkish Airlines. Topic: <laughs> Terminals. Jinnah Airport has one main terminal divided into two concourses. The Jinnah East Satellite Concourse used for international flights. The Jinnah West Satellite Concourse used for domestic flights. Topic runways and aprons The airport has two runways measuring 3,200 meters and 3,400 meters in length respectively. Runways, 25R, 07L and 25L, 07R each have a width of 46 meters 250 feet and 45 meters respectively. Capable of handling up to Boeing 747, Boeing 787 Dreamliner and Antonov and 225 Mariah aircraft. The runways have capacity to handle 15 flights per hour and it accommodates simultaneous landing and take off. Runway 25R and 25L is equipped with ILS Cat I to guide landing aircraft safely under very poor weather conditions and also allowing planes to land in low visibility conditions, such as fog. The taxiway is able to handle 12 aircraft at any one moment while the parking area measures 266,000 square meters and is able to accommodate 42 aircraft, 12 of which through air bridges linking them directly with the terminal building. In addition to this, there are remote parking bays for 30 aircraft. Airlines and destinations Passenger Notes Karada, Air China's flight from Beijing to Karachi make a stop in Islamabad International Airport but the flight from Karachi to Beijing is non-stop. Air China does not have 8th freedom rights on the Karachi-Islamabad sector. Cargo Topic ground transport Jinnah International Airport is situated in the well-populated area of gulistan e jauhar and it is easily accessible through airport road from any part of the city. The airport has a wide parking area which can accommodate more than 3,000 vehicles. Bus and mini bus and taxis are also available to the airport. There are also a number of traditional rickshaws available at the airport parking area and entrance which are quite popular to travel short distance within the city. Karachi Cantonment Railway Station is the nearest railway station from the airport to get the railway connections for the other parts of country. There is also a commuter rail station, Karachi Airport Station, which is located 2 km southwest of Main Jinnah Terminal, just south of Star Gate. <laughs> <laughs> Accidents and incidents Terrorist attack On 8 June 2014, ten militants armed with automatic weapons, a rocket launcher, suicide vests, and grenades attacked Jinnah International Airport in Karachi, Pakistan. Thirty-six people were killed, including all ten attackers, and 18 others were wounded. Two aircraft of PIA a Boeing 747 and an Airbus A310 and one Air Indus plane were reported to be damaged. The damage to the Air Indus aircraft was extensive, which rendered it non-operational, leading to the demise of the airline. Both PIA aircraft were subsequently written off. See also Civil Aviation Authority of Pakistan Shaheen Airport Services Transport in Pakistan PIA Township